Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one is going to be unveiling some secrets of the Masquerade Ball. First and foremost, this armor set that you see me wearing is the Iron Pumpkin Armor Set. And this is a drop from a secret boss. I'll go into detail in that in a moment. But there's a couple things that I wanted to also help with. The first is Clawette. This is a boss. Uh, sorry, not a boss. This is a mob that spawns in this location now you're going to have a quest where you need to get five kills of this monster it is a rather rare spawn so it took me a while before it finally spawned the five times that i needed it to spawn a big way of being able to help kill this clawette is by having a party so group up with other people that are farming and if you're trying to go for quests, they will be helping you complete these quests. There are several other quests that you might find a bit frustrating as well. One of them was where you needed to get a chainsaw and this took me a while to get. And what I actually ended up doing was logging out, logging back in and I got the drop the very next kill. It's all a matter of RNG. Once you have completed the storyline, you're going to be getting access to this quest right here, the Ultimate Mask, where you're going to be needing 30 of these. Now, this is a daily thing. You're going to be doing daily quests to get these pieces that you need. And this is what you're going to be unlocking. My assumption is it's going to look like this. I'm basing these visuals on the name of the item itself. This is a daily quest you would need to complete in order to get this piece which you use for that quest so it's going to be 30 days and you'll get it you also have another one right here where you have to kill 25 mobs you'll be getting 333 bounty which you can put towards your reputation and then you have this one right here which is to play the organ so this one of course couples nicely with this because playing the organ summons this thing and i'll show you the visuals on that in a moment next thing is the reputation so you have the reputation quests here and you can rank up simply by collecting the ballroom bounties. So it shows your rep right down here. And I am at 14 out of 34. Long way to go still. Increasing your reputation gives you access to the masquerade stuff. Now you'll see at certain levels what I have unlocked and what you can continue to unlock. So wait a minute, what? But I am Reputation 14. In your masks shop, you're going to have access to all of these masks once you've completed the storyline. You're also going to have access to this thing right here. You need to have a Reputation 4, rank 4, to get to have some fresh air, which is kind of cool. It takes you to this location right here, which is kind of pointless, but at the same time, it is kind of cool. I've never tried parkouring up here. Can you parkour up here? Come on, let me get up there. Anyways, you get to look out at the beautiful view. Let's get into some secrets. So there's a bookcase right over here. You're going to find, and I did show this in my last video, where you're going to be having this beetle brella. Now, this is in relations to a Beetlejuice, which is one of my favorite movies. And then you have this quest right here where you get the beetle brella, which is a cosmetic weapon. It's also got the same coloring as the Beetlejuice thing. So that is, if you're a Beetlejuice fan, you will love this. I personally love this. Plus, this is the first umbrella, as far as I know. This is the first umbrella in the game. Looks amazing. You need to be rank 6. Another secret is the urn. Now, when you click on the urn before, you're going to be telling, it's going to tell you you need to be a certain rank in order to get access to this urn. That rank is 14. Once you get to rank 14, you're going to be able to reach inside the urn and find the red horror mask. Now, you can just grab this for free, and this is what it looks like. Next topic, the secret boss. Now, this is a Darkon boss. He created this, and this thing is terrifying. So, you're going to be playing the organ. Now, at the end of the storyline, you're going to have an option to play the organ as well. And then you're going to have a daily that you can play the organ also. So you're going to be heading to the organ where you're going to be see it's lit up so you can obviously play it. Now, if it's not lit up, means that you can't play it just yet because there's mobs that are going to be spawning right away. 
but once they are gone you will be able to play the organ and upon doing so you're going to be summoning the mask macabre this thing is terrifying now it actually has an ability where it can one hit you so you have to be careful to avoid its attacks and if you have nightmares easy you might want to look away when fighting this thing because it can creep out some people i actually think it looks amazing but drop this boss and you're going to be getting some loot this is where you can get the iron pumpkin armor set and it also drops a weapon as well now i'm not sure the drop rate of the weapon during my runs here, I got the armor twice, and I got the boots about a billion times. Now, if you're wanting to gain reputation fast, as well as get the entire armor set fairly quickly, you can try coordinating with other people so that you could all drop your boss thing or play the organ at the same time. Well, not, I mean, not all directly at the same time, but I mean within the same time frame, so you're all present to do it. That way, if you had five people doing their dailies you would have 500 bounties in a short amount of time not to mention five opportunities to get pieces of the armor set going back to the story quests for a second i had a group of players working together in a party and we were able to help each other complete those quests really fast so if you're having a hard time with the story quests like i said at the beginning get together with other people and party up it is going to be making your questing experience much more enjoyable and much faster big thanks to everybody who helped me with the farming and with this video and i wish all of you guys the best of luck when farming for this stuff hopefully you get what you're going for that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and take care